afternoon. Today I want to talk to you about finding the peace of God even in the midst of bad times. It seems like we're either always heading into a crisis, we're in the midst of one, or we're just coming out of one. There's things we can do to minimize the issues that we have during those times. First, we need to adjust our focus. Now, this is tough to do sometimes. That's what he's telling us to do, though. In Philippians 4, verse 4, he says, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. Now, he's not saying we have to be happy about what's happening. He's just saying we need to rejoice in the Lord. And that's something altogether different. Biblical joy is the knowledge that God is in control of your circumstances. But this is only the beginning. We must move forward in God also. Second, we should work to serve others. Now, from our focus on God and from Jesus' living example, we learn that we as Christians are here to serve others as Jesus was here to serve. Paul said in Philippians 4 5, Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. So as you rejoice in God, this will move you to focus on serving others. God wants us to serve others as Christ did. If you focus on yourself, you tend to spiral down into despair. But if you focus on others, we will be distracted from our own concerns and we will find a joy in peace in serving others before the Lord. Third, let's give your pain and fears to God through prayer. Now, of course, this sounds good and easy, but what happens when we start dwelling on the problem? In Philippians 4 and 6, God tells us, Be careful for nothing. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. You may say, but I do pray. But ask yourself, and honestly ask yourself, am I praying right, or do I pray, then walk away worrying about everything again? God gives us permission. He even commands us to stop thinking about our problems, to let Him deal with them. And let him lead us and guide us while we focus on helping others. When we do this, he gives us peace beyond understanding. It tells us in Philippians 4, chapter 4, verse 7, And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. You might say, well, that doesn't work. And that's true if you continue in worry, fear, or despair. God is telling us what to do. In the midst of a troubling state of affairs, he's telling us to focus on him and help and, and focus on helping others. It's not enough just to pray. We must force ourselves to think of God and not our problems. It's not easy, but that's why it's called a battle. Four, don't dwell on your circumstances. Reorient your focus to God and the serving of others. Paul tells us in Philippians 4, 8, Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, and whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. I challenge you to take it a step further. The more you think on the things of God, and the more you will come to know God and His ways and understand Him. Fifth, don't give up. Now that you've moved your focus from your own troubles and fears to God, and others don't give up if you don't get your answer overnight. Paul tells us in the Philippians 4, 9, Those things which ye have both learned and received and heard and seen in me do, and the God of peace shall be with you. If we do what God is teaching us, we'll have peace. You'll get peace because you have the God of peace with you and leading you through the fire. In closing, I want you guys to remember back in the Bible, Jesus was with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the fiery furnace as well. They were not sure, however, what the outcome would be. But they said, regardless of the outcome, we are still going to serve God. And we need, and that took a lot of faith for them to do that because they knew they were fixing to go into a very hot furnace. And we need to have that same faith because he is walking with us 
And that's how we get peace in our bad situation. So tonight, I just want to encourage you to walk with God, serve others, keep your head up, and don't dwell on the things that cause you the most fear. Dwell on serving God. Amen.